Jesus' name, we thank you. We honor you today. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. Yes, Lord. Because all glory and all honor belongs to you. Yes, Lord Jesus. And without you, there's nothing that we can do, Lord. Thank, thank you. But with you, we can do all things. Through you, who strengthen us. Thank you, Jesus. The hope of glory. We pray today, Lord God, that no one will leave here the same as they were when they came here. Amen. But they'll leave here no one would doubt a doubt that they are more than conquerors through you, Christ Jesus. Amen. That there are no more tails, but they are head. Mm. Mm. They are head of everything. Amen. Because you're the head. Amen. And in you, my God, we move and have our beings. Uh -huh. Bless these, your people. Yes, Lord. Everyone, from the sound of my voice. We come repenting in our hearts yes, right now. For anything we said today, amen, yes, Lord. that would hinder you yes, Lord. from having your way, Lord. Yes, Known Lord. or unbeknown, we ask for forgiveness right now yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you yes, that Lord. these people ask thank for you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That your word may drop in their hearts yes, yes, Lord, and bring healing in their spirit, yes, mind, Lord, soul, Jesus. and body. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For healing begins on the inside. Yes, Lord. Through your power and through your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for it right yes, now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, We feel it in our spirit right yes, now. Yes, Lord. It is manifesting right yes, now. Yes, Lord. We've been healed in every sick and broken place. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. For we are completing you. Jesus. Nothing missing, nothing yes, broken. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever it is, it is just not complete. Hallelujah. In you, Lord. It just become completed in you. Thank you, Lord. In you, in you. For there is no one in them who are in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Christ Jesus in them. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Blessed be the God. We thank you for completion. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for completion. Thank I hear the Jesus. Spirit of God say, some of y'all come up the assembly line today. Thank you, God Almighty. Thank sorry, you, Lord. Hello and here. Hallelujah, so Jesus. God says, some of y'all come up the assembly line Jesus. today. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah, God. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you go to the assembly line, the first thing I have you going for a test drive. Ooh, oh, my thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hello and here. You're going to go for a test drive. Because you're about to pull off the assembly line. Jesus. Continue in sin no. that grace may abound. You see here, it's making it very plain. Right there. What are you gonna say? No. Are you continuing in sin that grace may abound? Read. God forbid. Who forbid? God. God forbid for you to continue in sin. Amen. Hello. Amen. This is Amen. His word, church. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. He said, yes. God forbid, not Pastor Spellman or Brother Spellman or whoever you want, whatever you want to call me. Praise the Lord. He said, God forbids you to continue in, 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 in sin. God said, no. So no, you, you cannot continue. Read. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? How can you live any longer in sin when you're dead to sin? And now let me help you there. You see, the reason you're dead to sin is because Jesus died for your sins. And when you accept him, your sins are buried. Are you listening to me? Yes. Amen. Praise God. That's why, Brother Mark, when you take the, the baptism, it's just going through the motion of what has already taken place. That's why any man in Christ Jesus is new. New creature. Because the old man is dead. Behold. That's why you start a brand new life. That's why Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again of the Spirit. Huh? Yes. The second birth. This is the second birth. Because the first birth you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. You were born a sinner. Shaped you know what? You had nothing to say about it. No. You had for nothing you could do about it. Them folk that talk about they were born what they are, they need to go read the word of God and pray for an understanding. Everything on planet earth since Adam and Eve was born in sin. Praise God. Mm. Why? Because they broke the they broke the relationship 
between man and God. God. When Adam sinned in the garden, praise God. So the curse came on them that they'll be born in sin. Praise God. Yes. And that's what happened from that, from mother, um, the mother and the father of the earth. Everybody was born, born in sin. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. He said, you can't even see the kingdom. You can't even get in except you be born again. Yes. So the new birth brings on a new man. Yes, yes. So Jesus died that your sins could be forgiven, that you could be born all over again. Thank you, Jesus. Clean. Hallelujah. I mean cleaner than Mr. Clean. Are you listening to me? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Praise God. He don't want to know nothing about your past. See, most folk want to ride on your past. Yes. Jesus will learn about your past. When you come to him and repent, he will, all he wants to know, what you going to do from now on? Mm -hmm. I got the wrong. I'm yeah, the wrong. The enemy had you doing. When you're born again, those things are dead. Now, let me tell you how people get in trouble. And I preach the message right here. What they do, amen, they allow the enemy to make them think back. You know, they start thinking about what they used to do. And he's so clever, he's so shrewd, he'll get somebody to start talking about, oh, oh you, you in the church, that man, I remember, and so and so and so and so. He's trying to get that thought back in your mind. Yeah. Let me help you, because as a man thinketh in his mind, so, so is he. he. Because it stays in your mind long mm -hmm. enough, it'll get in your heart, because they're, they're, they're that close together. Look, yeah. they're that close together. Yeah. I forgot how many inches it is. So don't take it hard to get in the heart. Praise God. And that's when, that's when the feet come. Praise God. Yes. Amen. So he wants to bring your mind back to, remember. I remember, I remember this. I remember you, you know, and yeah. you start saying, oh yeah, I remember. I remember so-and-so. Now the old man that's crucified, <laughs> he's coming alive. Praise God, because you're talking about him. Amen. And he wants you to keep that conversation. Hello in here. Amen. Amen. I remember he's getting Amen. Amen. And remember if you that keep part. entertaining those thoughts, yes. as I said, you don't think back because if you think back, you're going to stop you're going right. forward. And eventually, you're going to look back. And when you want to look back, you're in serious trouble. Yes. Because most of the times, the person look back, they turn around and go back. Yes. The pastor taught us very well. He says, you want to see when people about to leave the church, keep your eye on them. They sit on the front seat. You watch them move to the second seat. They move to the third seat. He said, they're getting closer and closer to the door. He said, one Sunday you look for them, they ain't there no more. They're gone. Uh -huh. They're gone. They're gone. They, they don't get up. They don't just get up and walk out. Now, the enemy of your soul is very clever. You don't ever think you're a match for the devil. Because you ain't. Praise God. Mm -hmm. You don't match for him. He too, he's too shrewd for you. Praise God. They said the Lord has patience. The devil got patience too. Mm -hmm. His patience, he got some long patience. He'll keep trying his best to catch you. Hello in here. He'll set trap after trap. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. You know who he catch? He catch a man or a woman who ain't praying. A week a week. Yeah. Who so ain't praying? A week one. Yes. Who ain't watchful? That's who he catch. Praise God. Yes. That's yes. who he catch. That's why the word of God said, watch as well as pray. Hello. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But I'm going to say this to the glory of God. God will always warn you. You know what happened to us so many times? And I told you I found it in my phone. I read it. It says a lot of times we get into situations, into things that we could have avoided, is because we have our own uh, his personal, agenda. private agenda yeah, his. that we want to do. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All that. That's the enemy. Already. That's the enemy. And he allowed you to tell you you get in the way. You can't, you know, listen, doing wrong, I don't care who you are. You can be Joe Tucker's mama or daddy. I don't know who he is. But let me tell you something. When you do wrong, it's going to come and get you. Hallelujah. I yes. promise you, it's yes. going to fight you in your back. Yes, yes. it will. And maybe one year, two years, three years, it could be 10, 20 years, but eventually, that you thing you did, it. it's going to grab you in your back. Yes. Yes, yes. Woo, quiet in here now. They get you. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, if you got something, you better get to one out there now. <laughs> Praise God. They get you. Because the line you keep it, the worse it stinks. Woo, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. Let it go. You can put some in the freezer, boy, and it'll stink up the wire, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Let it 